Apocalyptic images show the devastation the campfire left behind, reducing the town to ashes. Fire officials say the flames burned at a rate of 30 football fields a minute when that fire first broke out last week. Right now, we are awaiting a news conference there on the Camp Fire in Butte County. These are live pictures here. You see the podium at the Silver Dollar Fairgrounds in Chico, where Governor Jerry Brown and the U.S. Secretary of Interior, Ryan Zinke, will soon be taking the podium to give us an update after their survey of the damage there in Butte County. And as soon as that news conference begins, we will, of course, bring it to you here live. Again, live pictures out of Butte County this morning. The governor surveyed the damage this morning and we are expected to hear from him and what he saw coming up here in just a few moments. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Huli Sarathis. New numbers from Cal Fire show the deadly campfire in Butte County grew by another 5,000 acres overnight. It is now up to 135,000 acres. The death toll still stands at 48 after six more bodies were recovered overnight. At last check, at least 7,600 homes have been burned, 35% containment so far this afternoon. Butte County Sheriff's Department have released a list of people missing in the campfire. There are more than 100 names on the list. Most of the missing people are over the age of 60. The department is asking that you call or email them if you find your name on the list. You can find a link on our website, cbs13.com. Now, even with no official cause released on that fire, PG&E is facing its first lawsuit over the campfire. In San Francisco, several victims accused PG&E of failing to maintain its power lines. The utility admits that it had a problem with the transmission line before the fire in the same area where the flames first broke out. PG&E at this point has um, started fires, started explosions in the last 10 years and killed numerous people and it has to stop. The attorney represents 100 fire victims in all. Plaintiffs are seeking unspecified damages to property and income loss, housing costs and emotional trauma.